Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. He said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Thanks for the information. Don't know about the rest of your species, but you're good in my books, human. One wrong step, Shepard. Should I ask the female clan to provide a parentage? Why bother? Looks like Urs finally found someone to follow around. Good Varen. Good Varen. Stay. The human returns. This time with more creds, I hope. I should go. Suit yourself. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe enough. One more win in the pits. And I'm retiring. Place your bed on the pits, you We won't regret it. You see that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. You don't have a place to try. Watch it, you little boy. The envoy of the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. You go beyond yourself, Gatatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. 
The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. <sniffs> Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. Erdnot Rex has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? <laughs> that is good enough, if lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? We stand with Grunt, as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. You... You dare. <laughs> I like this human! He understands! I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, only the candidate and his crant are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere, will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. This is Tachanka's most recent scar, the last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The Keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars in the passage of centuries. It endures, like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive, no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will.
Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. You got it. First the Krogan conquered Tuchanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. for the next part of the right. Then the Krogan were lifted to the stars to destroy the fears of a galaxy. An enemy only we could chase to their lair. Crawlers, come to your death. Them down.
to trigger the keystone to continue the rite. Now, all... Krogan bear the genophage. Our reward. Our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. Feel that? Everything is shaking. I am... Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My Krant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure, no alien meddling in your construction, just the warlord of Kier. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breathe, of course, or serve on an alien ship, but you'd be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance, too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Uvik, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable, whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. They've seen us. What damn snipers? Enemy charging. Charging! 
Keystone to get out of here and leave him to rot. the rite of passage, earning the honor of Clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a Thresher Maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a Battlemaster. Shepard is my Battlemaster. He has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tchanka's past. Tuchanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over, each time we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. I'll take it. back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. I am Erdnot Grunt. This human is part of my Krant. Erdnot allows humans in a candidate's Krant. Interesting. I am the ambassador to Erdnot from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. If Nakmore is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmore Krall, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmore have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmore have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, 
Erdnod could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Captain Hannah Shepard has apparently turned down an Admiral Star and will remain in command of the Orizaba. The captain deemed her promotion to Admiral a political ploy and said that she could best honor her child's legacy by captaining a ship. You hear that the tank run and the human killed the pressure ball? Everybody's hurt. Hasn't been done since Rex himself. You just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a Maw since my turn in the right. Next you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. I tell you, isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose, fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. 
Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally, can still make wrong choices, bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision, executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions, or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later?
help you with something? What do you think of the state of the crew? This crew is as good as it can be. We've got a shot. A long shot. But it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. Anything else, Commander? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? We felt good to take that Collector ship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in airlock. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. No messages for you, Commander. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute, you might learn something. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going. Until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. And Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him. To tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Gabby, you'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. The Normandy's the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. A lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See? Look where your mind went. I've got to watch out for myself. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. 
Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so? I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. Hey, you did me a favor helping with that base, but don't lecture me. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Still, it was... odd, talking about this. Maybe some other time. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked, and I do trust you. I hope you know that. This means something to me. It means a lot, but I don't want to share you. Tally, there's a good chance that none of us are coming out of this fight alive. Don't ask me to choose. I'm not asking anything, Shepard. One way or the other, you know how I feel. If you want to find comfort in someone else's arms, I won't hold it against you. Hila, it'll be easier for both of us. Just keep it honest, okay? It's a small ship. Word travels. There you are. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. something. Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass. 
the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls of metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So if I shot you dead right now, a Drell court wouldn't convict me? You'd be guilty because you chose to shoot me. If my reflexes caused me to draw and fire when I saw your gun come up, I would be innocent. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Uh, laser dot trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. Did you take the shot? Not that day. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. I haven't had a chance to speak to a draw before. It's been fascinating. I doubt many humans have. There are only a few hundred thousand of us left, after all. I won't keep you. Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission, and live to see the end. I hope you are right. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? 
Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. stock reports are hiding a weakness in their last quarterly financial statements. I'm downloading their pre-audit papers. Hi again, Shepard. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been She's close. a good friend. Take it easy, Farron.
Omega. Emily Wong, Citadel. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Donnell Udina, Omega. Armando Bailey, Citadel. David Anderson, Citadel. Praetor Gavon, Omega. Kalisa bin Sinan Al Jilani, Citadel. Keeper 20, Citadel. Matriarch Etheta, Ilium. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Elias Kellum, Citadel. Okir Test Subject Number 317, alias Grant. Ilium. Thane Krios, Kajay. 